volunteers in court as the Marine accused of a crash that killed two UCSD medical students revisited that fateful night. Jason King was ordered today to stand trial for this wrong way crash on the 163. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty has the new developments from the courtroom. Vanessa, several people tried unsuccessfully to stop him from getting behind a wheel. Yeah, I take a two people actually testified today that they reached out to Jason King. They say they knew that he was drunk and he refused their help and offers for a ride. Instead, prosecutors say he got behind the wheel, killing two people. Wearing a halo, Lance Corporal Jason King sat quietly in court until these images were brought up on the big screen. He trembled as he saw the bloody scene, horrific pictures of twisted metal and the two young women he's accused of killing. Stash Ozog was one of three who managed to survive with a crushed spine. Here he is then and now. Uh, in the crash, I broke two vertebra. Marine Hannah Talbot testified as King's best friend, but today she couldn't look him in the eye. It took her a full minute. Jason King. Do you see Mr. King in court today? I do. Can you please identify for the record where he is in the courtroom? King was drinking at a hotel bar in Mission Beach. Buddies tried to take his keys, but he resisted, meeting up with Talbot instead at In Cahoots in Mission Valley. They argued about him driving. He said he got himself there and he was capable of getting himself home. Bar manager Gary Martin also tried. I told him that it, I was concerned about his safety and that we, he should let us uh, get him a lift or an Uber to get him a safe ride home. And what did he say? He said that he was good. But King was twice the legal limit, barreling down the 163 in the wrong direction in his elevated Ford 350, head on into this Prius full of promising young doctors. Madison Cornwell had no time to react. She was killed instantly, along with Annie Baldock, who was top of her class at UCSD Med School. Cornwell's parents were also here, along with a number of students wearing their lab coats. All were very shaken and at time moved to tears by some of the testimony and the pictures that they witnessed here in court. If convicted, King is looking at up to 47 years to life in prison. Live at the Hall of Justice, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.